no matter what the weather Heather. What's up, everybody? So, I actually did this hunt back in April of 2020, believe it or not, and sort of just recently rediscovered the footage. Uh, from what I remember, I kind of just stumbled onto this massive bottle dump while out on a hike with my wife one day. I mean, let's just, let's just get a quick look back here at this shot. I mean, just look at the scale of this place. It is huge. So many bottles are in such great shape. I didn't actually take a whole lot back with me, because as much as I do love the look of an old bottle and the subsequent rich histories behind them, they take up a lot of room, and I've never actually really been a big bottle collector in general, but honestly I have actually been more and more interested and intrigued by bottles of late, and I have a nice shelf space cleared up in the basement to maybe amass a handful for a very cool project I have in mind, uh, but I'm going to keep that on the down low for now. Uh, also, for whatever reason, not everything on the table here was even put on film. I don't know. I think I think um, I did. Have, I think it was two separate hunts actually, and my camera may have died or something on one of them. Uh, but at any rate, here's what I took with me, or at least what I decided to put on camera. First off, this 1910s or 1920s uh, Charles Goulden mustard bottle. This was an obvious winner. I mean, I, I think I have two of their bottles of mustard in my fridge right now. I think it's a white wine version and a spicy brown. Uh, they've pretty much been dominating the mustard industry since 1867, at least over here on the East Coast. And I was just super stoked to pull this out of the debris. I don't know why. Just fun for me. And another really neat one to note is this. A clothes sprinkler. I can't tell you why I didn't film this one. I think maybe I thought it was a hummingbird feeder at first, and I was like, eh, whatever, hummingbird feeder. But I, this is such a cool little piece of outdated Americana that I didn't even know existed. But it makes total sense for the era when you think about it. Like, I could totally picture my grandmother using this thing. Eh, actually, she was a little too practical. She would just use, like, a watering can. Anyway, moving on, this cool little makeup compact. I have no recollection of finding it, but it remains in my keeps collection and has a pretty cool design on it. Also, this awesome little blue glass stopper. Uh, though I don't know how I missed filming this one, I actually, uh, this is a pickup shot I did later because I remembered that I, uh, that I had found this and it was actually the first thing I found while we were hiking when we came across the place. I found it just like right at my feet and I was like, oh man, this is, I've definitely got to come back here. And I think just because of that gap in time between me finding it and me getting back and then filming the finds and a couple months later or whatever, I just forgot about it. But 
nope, cool, cool, fine. Uh, anyway, this one is also particularly cool to me, and I'll tell you why. This is a 1930s brand of nail polish called Duragloss, and, well, I guess that's it. <laughs> there's, there's actually no exciting history here that I could dig up. I just think it's a really cool little thing to find. There was a website called Tales of Things that had uh, some uh, interesting tidbits and information about early nail polish, and um, I guess it's cool that this is one of the first nail polishes, uh, at least within the first couple of decades. Uh, I don't know. Pretty neat. And last but not least, this egg-looking thing with a prize inside. I mean, I don't think anything else needs to be said. Let's cut it open. Okay, yeah, right. Figured it looked like a weird kid's toy. Or I guess smash it with a hatchet in, in my case. I don't know why I thought that was the best course of action, but here we go. <laughs> okay, so... Okay, there's a better method to doing this, I'm sure. Pretty cool hunt. Found a lot of pretty cool stuff. Uh, I definitely plan on getting back out there. I wish I had taken home more bottles um, and, and other things, but I'm gonna get back out there again and hopefully pretty soon. And maybe I'll even do a video on it within the, uh, what was it, two years ago? <laughs> within the next couple of years. Uh, anyway, take care, y'all. Thanks for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.